water, food and energy are intrinsically interconnected. The food production requires a substantial amount of water. In fact, it is the, the biggest uh, water users uh, worldwide. It also uses a lot of energy. At the same time, energy also takes a lot of water and there's a lot of water stored behind dams to, to produce hydropower and, and use for cooling. On the other hand, we take a lot of energy to uh, treat and transport water for drinking purposes, for example. So it's really interconnected and this means that one intervention in one sector immediately produces knock-on effect in the other sector. So that raises all kind of difficult questions like uh, how can we guarantee access to water, food and energy for all in a world with a changing climate, in a world where uh, natural resources get scarcer and scarcer and at the same time the population is still growing. So this track on uh, water, food and energy gives you the tools to engage in this kind of questions. And uh, so you can, you can do that from different angles. So if you're really interested in um, irrigation engineering or in uh, engineering for energy, uh, you can do so, but also uh, spatial analysis, uh, remote sensing, till the other very end, like, like governance, uh, social justice, so you will find it all. Because it's so interconnected, the water, food and energy, an interdisciplinary approach is, is really important and, and hence uh, you can f find all these kind of elements and angles in this particular track.